How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I had a duck on my head, and this time I still have a duck on my head. Uh, except I have a nice little flower head thing there. Anyway, um, yeah, so back on the Hermitcraft Feed the Beast Unleash server. I'm ready to do some more stuff. I haven't done too much since the last episode, really. I decided to try my luck at building something automatic for trees and things, and then I'm like, oh yeah, this this isn't going to work. <laughs> I was just lazy. I wanted to try to get some wood, but I'm definitely going to need more power before I'll be able to do much of this. Um, one cool thing is the conductive pipes now, they no longer explode from what I hear, but they can only carry like a maximum current of, I don't know, like 256 MJ per tick, which is usually enough. I don't know if that's at every part of it or what, because the wooden ones take uh, 32 MJ. In fact, here, I'll show you really quick. When you hover over it, it says 32 MJ per tick. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's the max or what. I haven't looked into it too much. I'm more of a redstone energy conduit kind of guy. But, yeah, that's definitely a nice alternative. Anyway, this really isn't... It's just made a gigantic tree. Um... <laughs> Because it just wasn't making enough power. But you don't want to see that. Come on. I got a solution for the power anyway. Yeah, that's right. We're going to play around with Darkcraft. Or at least get started with that today. It's not something that is a... Um, you know, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you everything there is to Darkcraft in this one episode. But I'll at least be able to show you, a, you know, some of the basic stuff. So, let's start with the most basic of basic things. We first need to make this thing called a force rod. And in order to do that, we need to take, I think it's, what is it, like two iron and a, yeah, so two iron and a force gem will get you two of these things called force ingots. You can use gold instead of the iron and you'll get three instead. So it's like getting one and a half per ingot, uh, which isn't too bad, but I have more iron than I really know what to do with. So let's go ahead and make some force ingots. Now you need these things called force gems, by the way. They, um, how to describe them? They look like really bright looking yellow dots in the wall when you're caving and such. Um, when you pick them up, they look like, like tortilla chips or something. I know, it's so hard to see these and not think they look like a chip or something. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Or maybe like a triforce. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to need a lot of these things. So let's just get started with, um, let's make eight of these force ingots. Okay, so we got our force ingots, right? Now, we need to make this force rod. And to do that, we're going to need a force nugget. So take one of your force ingots, break, oops, break it down into force nuggets. And from there, you take a stick, a force nugget, and then an ingot there. And that'll get you a, um, a force rod. A force rod that is almost damaged completely though but that's fine you need that to get started so with this you get to do some wondrous stuff um, one of the things you'll definitely want to do is start farming some of these gold tree things the forest trees so with a sapling let's just go ahead and put that there with your new forest rod and a sapling I think you can just right click it and ta-da Work some of my new fairy type magic on it. <laughs> that turns it into a force sapling. And it looks like a golden tree, huh? Yeah, pretty nifty. You're going to want to get several of these set up, really. Uh, I don't have my axe on me, so I'm just going to punch this log. <laughs> I know, I'm so great. I saved the log punching for the second episode, right? I'm just that good at Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I jest, I jest. Okay, so let's go ahead and use another one there. So that'll get us two of these going. Now, I don't know if I can grow them instantly with bones. It's been a while since I've done this, so we'll have to see. Now that's one of the things um, you'll want to get started with for dark craft. But there's another thing that's super important as well. And you're going to need to mine some obsidian in order to get it. You need one obsidian block. And I don't think I have any on me, which is a shame. So let's just go down to the Bat Cave. Well, to the really deep Bat Cave. 
something like that. I have somewhere set up with some lava. Probably over here. Oh, look at that. There's some obsidian right when you need it. Okay, so, hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it should be safe. Now, I think this will be able to mine obsidian, even though this is an iron pickaxe, because it has those diamonds on it. Well, actually, just one diamond. It's upgraded, so it should be... Yeah, it can mine obsidian, which, you know, it's nice. Basically, I get the equivalent of a diamond pickaxe for only using one diamond, which would have been great, except for the fact I already made a diamond pickaxe, but... Shh. Okay, so, with this, how it works is, if I... I think I got this right. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to kind of play around with it along with you. It's in my miner's backpack here. So let's go ahead and take this. I think, okay, with a lot of this stuff, you actually have to throw it on the ground so it looks like that, and then right-click with your force rod. And that does not appear to be it. So let's see. We need the thing called the force infuser. Maybe there's just a recipe for it. Force manipulator, that's not it. Um, force infuser, it's this thing. Huh. Maybe I do just set it down. It has indeed been a bit. I played with this a little bit back. I was doing some streaming of it, which I might do. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's even easier than I thought. <laughs> You just have to actually right-click the um, obsidian. I probably could have done that even down there. Huh. Well, it's fine. You know, actually, it's really important to get used to the whole concept of right-clicking things. Because you're going to see this, and it's like, what on earth is this, mate? Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. So let's take this thing apart. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, darn it. Well, it turned back into the thing, and I am stuck now without any any force. See, I only have this thing called a force shard left. It's only a shard of its former self. So we're going to need to repair it or something. And I think what we should do is we should probably grow some of those trees. So let me see if I have some bone meal or something. I also want to make a house. Everyone's been building up. Nice looking houses on the server. I'll have to show you sometime, but I got my I got my mind focused on something for this episode. Now this force shard is not entirely useless. You can actually use it uh either I think you can use it for energy or use it for something. Uh so don't don't worry too much. Um hmm. Well we'll just stick with this for now. Eventually I'll be moving all this stuff above ground. In fact, why I'm not doing this right now, I don't know. I should probably just have my forest infuser stuff down there. Yeah. Yeah, well, let me at least start on this tree. Okay, I don't know if this version now doesn't work. Let's see. Oh, there we go. See, so when the tree grows, it'll look like this big, giant, golden tree of awesomeness. I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. Um, shoot, where is my axe? Huh. Well, I'll just make one really quick. Just don't want to be bothered. Okay. Actually, you know what we can do? I think we can make a force axe. If I make sticks first. Oh, no, actually, that's right. We need these things called force sticks in order to make them. You can't just do that. But that's why we're growing the tree, yo. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use some of this. There we go. Okay. So, got an axe. Let's chop this bad boy down. And the nice thing about this is it'll get you a lot of these force logs. And they're so nice. But on top of that, you should receive plenty of force saplings. And you know what? This is getting very annoying. Let me really quick here... Turn particles to minimal. Sorry about that. Okay, so I should not be chopping that down with my axe. That'll just break its durability. But let's see if we can get anything fun. I'd like to get another sapling so I can grow this in the background, huh? Oh, well, whatever. So we have these things called the force logs, okay? There's a lot you can do with them. 
But the most important thing is you can turn them into force sticks. Uh, you can also use them for anything that normal wooden logs would require. At least I'm pretty sure. Golden power source. Ooh. That's interesting. Do you just, like, cook it? Wow. Interesting. Huh, that was not there when I played around with this before. So apparently you can smelt it into, like, this golden power source stuff. Which seems to generate a pretty good amount inside of a generator. Bet you can use it for other things. Um, yeah, so... Or dictionary. Coke oven. Right, but the thing you'll really want to do is... Wait, where's the recipe? Shapeless, right? Right, force planks, that's it. So take some of these logs and turn them into planks. And then these planks can be converted into force sticks, which are pretty cool. So with these force sticks, you can use these to make cool force tools that you can use. Like, uh, actually, you can use them for other things, apparently. Um, no, look, you can make a force bow or any kind of pickaxes and things. Now the stuff it shows here, you can basically substitute the force sticks for any of these recipes, but you cannot use normal sticks for the recipes that require the force sticks. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, where on earth? There they are. Okay, so force sword, force shovel, force pickaxe, force axe, some force arrows which are made with a nugget instead of, like, a force ingot thing and a feather. And another force rod. This is the complete force rod, which is nice. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, and then I think everything else is just the same. Yep. Okay, well, very cool. Let's go ahead and start making some of that stuff, huh? Because, well, gosh darn it, it's good for you. So, let me... Let me go ahead. What do I want to make? Well, let's just make what we can here. Okay, so crafting table. Not those sticks. Let's use this. Let's make let's make a um a force axe. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we have a force axe. First of all, this thing it chops wood pretty well. Let's try an example here. Oh snap, that's a big honking tree. Cuts nice. Has pretty decent durability, it seems. And it's not, like, that bad to make by any means. Okay, so we have that, which is good. But that's not the fun part of dark craft. These tools, they don't really do all that much, say, on their own. They're really most useful when you use them with other things. Um, so, let me just declutter my inventory a little bit here. Okay, now let's take that. Where did it go? Oh, right. It's this obsidian thing. All right, let's make that fuse enforcer thingy again. Except in order to do that, we need to make another rod. Whoops. All right, but that's fine. We can actually make an even stronger one now that we have a force stick. See, since we're using the force stick instead of a normal one, we can make a fully charged force rod, which is great because you'll use this quite frequently. All right, so we're just going to turn that into a force infuser. Ooh, yay, sapling. Let me get this plantin. In fact, I could probably just plant more of these all around and just have them start growing or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, just, just turn golden and grow already, okay? Make that pretty fancy fairy noise. All right, let's see. So this force infuser, it needs liquid force, which you can create by putting in either force gems here, or I think you can use force shards as well. I'm going to test it in a moment. But it also needs MJ in order to operate. So we're going to need to do that. We also need an upgrade tome in the top leftmost slot, which I think is over there. Um, so we're going to need to do that stuff, huh? So the best way to get MJ is through a machine, like an engine, right? Well, thankfully, there's a great engine for the job here. So let me go get some wood so we can make some normal planks. Let's get some cobblestone. And we're going to need actually one piece of glass 
because we need to make an engine. And I'm going to need some more force ingots as well. So, do I have any more iron in here? That I do not. Yo, where's all my iron? Oh, well, I'll just use gold. All right, so here's how it's going to go. We're going to make a piston. So let's do that. Oh, shoot, I need some redstone. Yo, where did I put all that redstone, man? Why did I put it away? <laughs> Oh, also, regarding those uh, moss balls, I know that that was kind of something I alluded to last episode. Really, the problem was I just got it confused. I'll show you in a moment here. Let me make that piston. All right, so really quick, really quick. I know I'm going all ADD and stuff. This moss is not the kind you put on a pickaxe to give it the, um, the, the moss stuff. However, you can, in a way, use that for it because this moss... Eight of these surrounded by one cobblestone makes a moss stone. And then, let's see, six, no, that's not what I want. Nine of these makes the ball of moss that you need. So you're going to need quite a bit of that moss, but that's pretty easy to get. But that's how you can get this ball of moss. Otherwise, just go find a monster dungeon or something, and then you should have more than enough to do that. Okay, so we're going to need to make some more force ingots. So let's go ahead and make some. There we go. I think we're actually going to need one more batch here. Yeah, I think 11 will do. All right, we need to make a force gear. And, oh, this is also really useful, the force shears. <laughs> I should make that, but I'll do it in a second. Okay, so the force gear. Let me just check this out. Force gear. Yeah, it's just with a stone gear. Okay. So, gonna need two sets of those. And then let's surround them with stone. And then let's surround them with these bad boys. Oh, yeah! So we got the forest gears. And now what we need to do is it's sort of like a rather standard engine, you just use the forest stuff instead. See? Just like this. And that gets you the force engine. Yeah! <laughs> I like that sound. So, let's just slap this force engine, like, right there. Just because. And this is a very interesting thing. It kind of works with, uh... I think liquid force you put in it? Yeah, see? It needs this liquid force stuff. And I think I'm also... Oh, I need to eat. My goodness. I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running all around. Getting hungry. Oh, also, totally forgot. The um the forest trees, in addition to dropping saplings, they'll drop forest nuggets too, which is just awesome. Um I don't think yeah, you can't put them in there, but that's fine. And you can put no, I guess you can't put that there. Okay, well that's fine. So you also need something else as a throttle to put in here before it'll actually produce anything or actually maybe you don't let me just let me see here i know you're best putting like water or something into it or milk is a really good thing to put in there so let me make a lever i think it needs a lever in order to work yep and it's using some up slowly filling it with mj but it's only making four mj per tick oh my goodness you know all that work and i'm only getting four mj per tick what is wrong with this world? <laughs> well, if you put some water in, it now doubles it to 8 MJ per tick, just for some water and some liquid force. Is that nuts or what? On top of that, you can put in milk, and that's like a really strong throttle. So, yeah. Now I gotta see, there should be a mushroom around here somewhere. Hopefully it didn't die. They've been just dying all over the place. I was going to bring him to my house, but it looks like he's dead. Someone probably just thought, ooh, mushroom, let's kill it. Or something. People got to learn some respect, yo. All right, I'm going to pick these berries. Oh, it's so nice. Such a great little renewable food source. I've basically been living off of them. All right, let's hop... 
<laughs> really secure fence, I know. All right, so now we have all this stuff going. We got the MJ there, but we need to have some liquid force in here as well. So let's dump a little bit in there. We got plenty of this stuff. Okay, so what on earth is this supposed to do? This doesn't tell you anything, right? What the heck? How on earth did this get out? What? Oh my goodness. That is actually really not good. That is really not good. Where on earth did that thing come from? Wow. That is weird. That is so weird. Oh my goodness, someone, did someone open up that thing? Hey, whoever was in my base, I mean, you know, it's kind of my base. <laughs> I kind of made a point not to, yeah, geez, that was pretty considerate. Man. All right, I mean, if you want to go explore in the mine, that's totally fine, even though, you know, I was totally planning on exploring it. But don't just leave my spider thing open for it to kill me when I'm AFK or something. Jeez. All right, well, um, that was almost disastrous. Okay, well, now we have no water left. But not like that's a big problem or anything. It's kind of easy to get. <laughs> In fact, you don't even need to click in there. I could just fill it up. I could fill it with the milk, too. But really, are you going to complain for 8 MJ per tick? I didn't think so. All right, so we got this with plenty of juice. This thing is just cranking liquid force. It's really important that you turn it off when you're not using it, though. Uh, like, right now, I could probably turn it off. It has no heat up time, which is pretty overpowered, actually. So you can just turn it on and off whenever you need to. Um, so yeah. Okay, now we gotta make that force tome thing it keeps talking about up here. An upgrade tome. Uh, that's really what you want to do. And I think you just need to make a book. Let me try that really quick here. Pretty sure. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I need to actually make some paper. Alright, there we go. There we go. All right, we got a book. Okay, now the fun part is trying to make that book. If you don't know what you're doing, it'll confuse you, but I think you just right-click it. Yeah, there you go. See, now you have dun da 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 the upgrade tome, which you're going to want to put right up there. And then, as you can see, it gives you one extra slot here. This upgrade tome also kind of carries some experience with it, so you'll want to use it to upgrade stuff. For instance, let's actually start with a really useful upgrade. Remember how I said I needed some new armor? Well, now's a great time to make some. So if you've got some leather, which is very vital, you can actually make some leather clothes. Oh my goodness. Leather pants, leather armor, what? Isn't this amazing? Leather armor so good, right? Right? Well, it is if you zap it with the force rod. Boom! Just like that, and it becomes a force tunic or tunic or whatever. I think it's tunic. I always used to call it tunic growing up, and I don't know why. All right, so with this stuff, we basically get to look like Link. <laughs> I know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, here's a look. Yeah! Um, right, so let me go ahead and just put away some more stuff here. I think I should be able to make the rest of it, which is reassuring. Oh, look at those golden trees grow. All right, let's make the rest. So, let's get some boots. And let's get a nice helmet. There we go. All right. Boom, boom. Ta-da! So now we have a full set of force. And it's actually a little stronger than iron straight from the get-go, which is cool. But the really cool thing is you can actually upgrade it with this force infuser. There are just a whole ton of different upgrades. And it doesn't seem like there's anywhere you can click on here that shows you them, which is a shame. But let's just uh, 
Let's put this force tonic thing there. See, when you hover over something while you're here, it shows on some items, it shows like a trait in yellow. In this force nugget, it says force, which is useful for um, for your um, armor or for things. It, it kind of adds power to it, I guess. Uh, force logs give you lumberjack. That's actually a really fun one. Let's start with this. Okay, so let's put lumberjack on that. And then you could actually put something else on it if you wanted to. Let's see. I don't have anything else really. And a lot of the stuff you can put on it depends on the level of this tome too. So once you have whatever you want here and the amount of spots you have open depend on the level of your tome there. Then just press this and it will start infusing it. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> And once this little meter's done, you will now have the enchantment, quote-unquote, on your force item, which is pretty cool. In the case of Lumberjack here, well, check it out. Boom! It just chops down the whole tree. <laughs> I know. I love it. It's so good. You just use it, and boom. The whole tree just its gone. It works on big trees, too, which is really nice. Um, the only downside is I think it uses up the durability for those larger trees. So, like in this case, I'm probably going to have, like, no durability left. But it will get rid of this big tree. And, you know, let's face it, big trees are a problem these days. Boom! Just like that, that tree is gone. Well, mostly. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in your face tree. But as you can see, it um, it did work a number on that durability. Although, realistically, who cares? Because you would have used that much durability chopping down the tree. So, yeah. Super useful to have Lumberjack on your stuff. I'm going to have to get the rest of that later, darn it. I just don't feel like it now. It's really fine. That tree was bothering me. Oh, man. Okay, so, is that cool or what? That's just one of the neat things you can do. There's actually a whole ton of different stuff. I should really look it up. But for now, let's, uh, actually, let's see. We can do speed, I think. Let me just see. Yeah, okay, so for the Tier 1 stuff, you have Lumberjack, you have um, Force, and then also you have Damage, which is from Claws, like the Bat Claws, that you can find from, you know, Bats. And then you also have speed, which you can use sugar for. Not sugar cane, but sugar sugar. So in this case, let me get some sugar here. The only, uh, I think I might have even said it, but the only downside really to this is you can't re-enchant things. After you've enchanted something with the force stuff, that's pretty much it. You can't do anything more at that point. So... You know, it's important to just kind of remember that and remember that, yeah, it's kind of a permanent thing. But it's not like it's too expensive to go get more or something. So that's kind of the, the logic behind it. So in this case, let's just go ahead and upgrade everything with speed and everything with force. Or I, I don't know if force stacks or not. I know some things can stack. I don't think force does. I think force stacks with your um, armor and stuff, but I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's just play around. Okay, so I'm going to take all my force stuff here. Let's start with that force cap. We're going to put speed on it, and actually, let's just see. Could I do... Well, it looks like I could do two. I don't know if there's a, like, a limit in place, but whatever. Okay, so we'll do speed and force. And actually, that isn't working. Maybe, oh, I don't think it can actually have force. Huh. Yeah, maybe it can't. That's strange. Or maybe it needs to be a certain level. Oh, cool. Slips on. Huh. Interesting. Let's see really quick here. Just check in. Oh, that's right. No, it actually the force 
Okay, so I was basically just derping for the last several minutes. Force does not increase the power of, like, your punches and stuff. That's actually for, um, I don't even know what, but force gives you knockback on your sword. So, I mean, that's kind of nice and all, but I guess it's not really what I, what I needed, which is fine. Um, let's see. You can put damage on your armor. So if I had some claws, that'd be really nice. <laughs> that'd be really nice, but it's fine. Uh, let's just... Can't do lumberjack. Can't do. I guess the only thing I can do is speed on him, so I might as well. Might as well. So we enchant this, and also you can hold in shift while you're on this upgrade tome, and it says 60 force points, and then next tier, uh, you know, X amount. Oh, all right. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't want to go find those claws. They can be kind of a pain. But you can actually fight unarmed if you have those. So that's pretty overpowered, actually. Okay, so... Should be at a tier 2 before too long here. Whoops, what am I doing? Alright, put that there. Oh, I need some more sugar, darn it. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. You can go pretty fast with a lot of this stuff. Okay, so now I have speed on all my armor here. So, holy smokes! I'm going so fast! Oh my goodness, I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. Jeez! Woohoo! Well, I like, I'm not running, by the way. This is not running. This is me running, and this is me not running. Yeah, I couldn't tell the difference either. <laughs> that is insane oh my goodness that is great well at least i jeez this is just ridiculous <laughs> oh my goodness okay so oh, i feel so good it's almost like you don't have power it's it's almost overwhelming Whew. oh man <laughs> all right that was intense so i'm gonna need to make some more of this force stuff huh let me start by making some um more let's make some force shears these are really neat what other kind of use oh a force wrench that's another really useful thing i think you use force gear and three yeah this is so useful oh my goodness let me see if i can make that yeah i'm gonna make it because it's just it's so good you know that spawner I can actually pick up that spawner if I use this force wrench thing. So let me make, let me, I, yeah. yeah, I'll do this. All right, wooden gear, and then stone gear. I miss my AE. <laughs> All right, force gear, and now the force wrench. This lets you pick up virtually any item and keep its state for instance see this chest right here with all my stuff in it well if i were to break the chest all the stuff would go pouring out of it right huh it'd just be a mess i can't just move it with this if i shift click and right click it i get to pick up the chest and then drop it there has all my stuff is that amazing or what it will make transporting things from the basement down there so much easier all right now this is where it gets a little dicey actually what i should do is i should go grab some milk or something yeah let me get a bucket that'll at least help me from that poison because that's an inevitability i'm gonna get poisoned and it's just gonna be a pain but it should at least be the last time i have to get poisoned which is good. I don't know where all those... Oh, hi, Mushroom. What's up? All right, I got a milk bucket now. And let me get a berry going. All right, time to pick up that stinking spawner, and I'll just put it away. Put that thing away. Okay. Oh. 
kind of gnarly. Oh, what? Darn it. Alright, can I get it? Can I get it? There! It is gone. <laughs> Don't have to deal with that thing anymore. I just have to get rid of these darn guys. Ah, I wish I could just get that thing. Hmm. Alright, this is going to be dangerous. Shoot. Hey, you jerk. Just cut it out. I drank the milk. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my milk just spilled. Oh, <laughs> boo hoo hoo. Shoot, I'm just going to get rid of these boots. Hopefully I picked it up. Wow. Um, you know what? I, I kind of just noticed how this is doing, like, nothing to me. <laughs> wow. I kind of got, like, distracted by the fact I cried over spilled milk. <laughs> literally. Literally. <laughs> I was crying over spilled milk. And, yeah. So, apparently, even just this level one stuff makes you, like, super invincible to poison. I like that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that creeper. Look at that creeper. Hey, whatever, dude. Whatever. You don't threaten me anymore. Realistically, I don't even think this creeper threatens me, but whatever. Oh, it even had a hat on. Okay, now that bat. I really want that bat. Where did it go? Oh, man. I love this armor so much right now. Like, so much. It's just my new best friend. I just... I can't think of anything. I mean, this is, like, better than quantum. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll pick that up, but this is just so awesome. Stupid bat, get back here. Sorry, I didn't really mean to be a meanie. Oh, look at all these bats. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, these claws. Oh, you're just a normal spider. Look at you. Thinking you're a boss. You know, and thinking about it, I guess there's a slim chance that it might have been an Enderman that moved that thing. I guess it's possible. You know how I was complaining, saying someone moved the thing? Well, probably not, but... I mean, someone probably still did it, but... Oh, well, let me get this aluminum. This stuff's nice, yo. Uh, I'm gonna put this iron, force ingot, force things. Forgot, I'm wearing my backpack, so I can just put stuff in there. The only downside is I don't have much food. <laughs> that is kind of a shame. But it's okay. It is okay. Actually, I wonder if the cobwebs... They might be able to be used on something. Yeah, you can actually put silk touch. These cobwebs can be used for um, silk touch on things. So I might as well pick them up. You need level 3 for your tome in order to do that. But... Hey, why not? <laughs> why not pick them up now? Pick them while they're hot, huh? Oh my goodness, this is also such a quick way to get rid of those webs. Hi, more bats. All oh, these claws. So awesome. Okay. This is really great. Alright, I gotta get out of here, though. I don't want to push all my luck. Really, I just wanted to go down here to take care of those spiders, and I'd say I did a good job at that. Okay, so, I got my own personal spider spawner. Hopefully this doesn't end up, I don't know, being used in a prank or something. Jeez. I won't do that. Actually, you know what? If there's one thing you just don't prank with, it's these poison spiders. They are just... They are evil. They just plain and simple are. So, I would hope people have some decency. Now, I need to get some leather. And a really good way to do that is by shearing cows. Yeah, you heard me. Shearing cows. Because that is totally a thing now. Because um, I need to get more leather. Hmm. Hmm. Whew, look at me go. So fast. Oh, I love Darkcraft. All right, so, I mean, it's really overpowered. It's, like, basically stupidly overpowered. But that's kind of what makes it fun, you know? It's entertaining. I need some gold. 
So I'll just, you know, go in and get a block of gold. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's my... Where's all my Dorito chips? Oh, that's right. Derp, I put them in my backpack. <laughs> I'm such a derp sometimes. Okay, so let me make... I don't know, like a sword, maybe something else. I really want to make another set of the armor with the damage on it. Because then I can just punch with that. Okay, so let me make a force sword. Which will be a good thing. We can go ahead and upgrade it too. I think I can upgrade it with both force and claws, which is nice. So we have that. I guess a force pickaxe wouldn't hurt. So let's... I'm, actually lower on iron than I thought I'd be. So we'll make these with the gold, since I got actually plenty of gold. Make force pick. I guess a force shovel wouldn't hurt, so let's do that. Alright, I got so much force stuff. It's crazy. Okay, so for that sword, let's go ahead and put that there, and we're going to do damage, and we're going to do... What else are we going to do? We're going to do, I guess, force. Yeah, that'll do. I'm looking at the tier 2 stuff. And there's some nice things, but really, I think this will do for the sword. Okay, so knockback 2 and sharpness. I mean, those are just, like, straight up enchants. Now, I don't think you can enchant these, but that's fine, because they're really so overpowered that why would you want to? Now, at this point, it's Tier 2. See, I, I upgraded it enough times that it became Tier 2, which is awesome. Uh, it also means you can use Tier 2 enchantments. What was that? What was that? thought I heard something. I'm sorry. Um, it means you can use Tier 2 enchantments, or not enchantments, but like infuser things, upgrades. And it means you get an extra upgrade slot. So that's pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Um, so, at this point, if I had fortunes, I could use those, and I could, um, I could make fortune cookies. And with those fortune cookies, here, let me actually show you these. Fortune cookies, eat me. You need to make a cookie and paper. The cookie is just some wheat and some cocoa beans, and that gets eight of those. And then uh, the paper, well, you know how to do that. So with this fortune cookie, you eat it, and then you'll get a fortune inside, which is just a random funny thing. But you can actually use that as an upgrade here, and that gets you something for, like, a fortune enchantment. So it's really good to get that going. And thankfully, I have some cocoa beans. I um, And I lent some to Hypno. He went ahead and crafted a whole bunch more. So really, I just need some wheat. And then I'll be set. Which is good. Okay, so... Actually, I even have some wheat. And I have some cocoa beans. Well, that's good. I haven't done anything with my pickaxe yet. So, let me go ahead and do that really quick here. Uh, I just need to make sure I save some cocoa beans. In case I want to grow them. Well, I mean, I know I want to grow them. Alright. There we go. Cookies. And I need some paper, so I'm going to need some stuff for that, huh? Alright, woo! I love this! It's just so fast. Alright, well, it looks like this is growing pretty good. Oh, yeah, there was unfortunately a rollback the other night, which stunk. I mean, I didn't have any progress lost. What the heck? Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? You! Man, that bow is hitting hard. Wow. All right. Um. Yeah, there was a rollback, and that was kind of nasty, actually. But I didn't have anything lost. I hadn't been able to work on the server lately, which is a shame. There's so much other stuff I had to do. So busy, but now I had a chance. So that's nice. But it, it stinks. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I would not want to run a server. Oh, my goodness. There would be just... Ah, it's stressful, man. It is stressful. It can be. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but... Okay, enough dilly-dallying. Let's go ahead and make that fortune cookie. So we're going to need some paper. 
And we're going to need some cookies. Oh, why did I eat? Oh, man, that was really not very smart. Because I'm going to need to eat these cookies. So I'm just going to jump around a little bit. Like an idiot. Woo, look at me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think you actually have to eat the cookies in order to get the fortunes from them. All right, no big deal, right? <laughs> I go so fast. And this isn't even the fun part. Once you start flying, it's just insane. All right, come on. Any day now. Oh, this is great. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to run a little bit. I'm going to... Oh, there we go. Actually, let me go ahead and eat this fortune cookie. Because it says eat me, so I might as well. Oh, look what popped out. It's a fortune. Oh, it looks like I... Derp, I guess I could eat them even when I'm not full. Oh, well, no big deal. It's not the end of the world. Oh, but they don't stack. That's a shame. Oh, well, let's put that there. Luck. Ooh, I wonder if these stack, though. luck. And now at this point, I think I can actually put grinding on it if I use some flint. So let's just try that out. Did I bring my flint? No, I did not. Yeah, let me see that. Because grinding basically makes it work like an auto pulverizer. So you'll pulverize the, um, the stuff into dust. So that's really awesome. Saves you a step. Okay. Let's put this here. And away we go. All right. There's actually another thing I just remember that's super useful. There's two things, really. There's a forest backpack, which I'll need more leather for. But then there's also this thing called a clipboard, which is really cool. It's just some wood planks, some iron, and then two pieces of paper. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty simple to make. Um, and what that does is it kind of works like a crafting table, except in your pocket, which is really good. Hey, is that a crafting table in your pocket? Never mind. Um, yeah, so let me put some more stuff away really quick. Oh, man, I need more chests and things. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me get some paper. Some planks. And we'll try this clipboard out. Alright, and I need some planks. Cool, actually I need some more. There we go. Alright, so like that. Two pieces of paper there, and then an iron ingot. And that'll get you the clipboard. Now what's nice about the clipboard is, you can put stuff on there, like to craft... Like this, for instance, but you can leave it there. It doesn't just drop when you, um, you know, when you leave. You can go back to it later, and uh, that's really cool. There, it, like you can rotate things apparently, which is interesting. You can put it back there. I don't know what that does. I think maybe that balances it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> huh? So pretty cool. It has a lot of neat functionality. It's just so nice to bring on the go. So much better than the, um, the, uh, what is it, the, the orb of minium or whatever, the minium stone. Just because, you know, you, you don't have to drop everything if you, if you leave. So I like that. All right, so what on earth else to show here? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, I guess I'm going to try this pickaxe thing out. I got way too many pickaxes. All right, this is the one I want to use. Whoa! Okay, let me lock this just so we can see it put stuff in the inventory. I'm going to put some things away, I guess, for right now. All right, yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's just go mine some ores really quick. Oh, turns it to sand. <laughs> Not too shabby. All right, so like this iron, for instance, okay? Oh, look at that guy. Let me use my new sword here. 
Hey, spider, what's going on, buddy? Boom, grind it into pulverized iron. And see, you get two pulverized iron, which actually doesn't seem to make sense. It doesn't work with, um, like, it doesn't stack or anything, which is kind of a bummer. Or, like, I mean, the the luck and the, the stuff doesn't stack. This is interesting. Looks like maybe someone was here. Huh, maybe. Well, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I mean, even just being able to pulverize the stuff on its own is nice. But the thing is, I mean, I have Fortune 2 on it. So if I were to, say, mine some coal or mine some other stuff that doesn't get, like, pulverized. Ooh, actually, this would be good to get. Hey, buddy. Wow. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, look at this. This is looking very cool. Alright, there's some coal. Let's go get that coal. Alright. Oh, creeper. Go away, creeper. Oh yeah, two hitting a creeper. I love this. <laughs> okay, so let's mine this. And, oh, shoot. It pulverizes it. Well, maybe I wasn't the smartest person in the world pulverizing, um... Oh, there we go. Let's see. How much appetite? Two. Oh, well, maybe you don't need both, like, fortune and appetite. Like, I mean, it's not like it's that much to go get another pick. <laughs> oh, well. But, yeah, as you can see, it's still pretty cool. Just being able to get all this stuff. And there's so much more you can do. Oh, and as you saw there, I got some pulverized ferrous metal. Because, like I said, it works like a pulverizer. So you even have that chance of getting the byproducts. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate about the coal dust. But it's okay. I mean, you saw how cheap it is to make this thing, right? It's so cheap. I mean, it's like ridiculously cheap. So that's ridiculously great. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, well... I'm just going to go take a look and see how much I record. I think we're probably going to have to wrap it up before long, but I feel like I showed at least enough basic stuff for dark craft to kind of get you going. Oh, I know what we got to do. We got to go find a cow. So you know what? I'm going to go find a cow really quick, and then I think we'll wrap it up. So I'll see you in a sec. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know, you know what's really funny? Like, Forgetting to press the record button. <laughs> uh, I just got done recording me shearing a cow and splitting it in half with the four shears, apparently. And uh, it didn't keep, let's just say. I, I forgot to hit the record button. And that's so weird. That, like, never happens. <laughs> oh, I derp so hard. Okay, well, it's no big deal, really. I mean, you know, I'll just... I'll just go find something else to do, but I'll just have to find another cow. Of course. Eat some berries. Now, what do we got going on here? I don't know whose house this is yet. Let's see if there's a sign. Um, Hypno was here. Wow, I guess he was here then. Nice little house. Oh, so I gotta go find a cow again and show you. Now, when I'm uh, I used the four shears on that mushroom. It kind of like cut it in two, apparently, which is weird. Whoa. Which is kind of weird. I do see a cow, so that's good news. The bad news is it's all the way up there. All right. Well, does it cut sheep? Oh, nice hat there. All fancy. All right. Well, it cut sheep. But will it blend? Let's see. Ooh, that is. Looks like a rendering error. Something. I think it's just on my side. That sometimes happens. All right, let me go get that cow. Come here, cow. It's really funny, actually. I mean, it's so inhumane, but... I mean, I guess it's better than the alternative of just flat-out killing the cow to get the leather. <laughs> well, okay. Actually, I'll let you be the judge. See this cow? There's some karma. Or should I say cowma? Oh, that was terrible probably the worst pun i've ever made in my life all right well all right cow 
<laughs> so you right click it with the four shears and then it oops it turns it into a cold cow which uh yeah it shears it of its leather you actually get the leather from the cow and that's really inhumane but on the bright side the cow is not dead meaning you can shear it multiple times which is a good thing you know it's a good way to get a lot of leather definitely a good way to get a lot of leather i mean i got like three now but you know get a cow in your base get like several cows start breeding them get some leather that way because you're gonna need that leather to make a lot of different armor and stuff so <sighs> yeah anyway i think that is probably a good spot to actually stop so <laughs> this time i know i'm recording i will see ya on the next episode of Maryland's Duck on His Head, Feed the Beast, Hermitcraft Feed the Beast, Unleashed Adventure. See you next time, long titles. <laughs>